Today we're going to present our networked audio player based on a Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi doesn't need any introduction, I think. We already mounted the software on the SD card. We already mounted the 17 mm standoffs. So it's uh, ready for the duct to be placed on it. So that's easy. Well, the duct is uh, very high-end, very good quality. It's a 24-bit duct with a separate analog filter at the output. Most ready-made ducts do not have an analog filter, so this is very high quality, polystyrene uh, capacitors. Also the power supply is kept separate from the Raspberry Pi. This is a bit difficult, you need two AC adapters, one for the duct and one for the Raspberry Pi. That's a compromise. On the duct also are very excellent voltage regulators for uh, really ultra low noise. Also the power supply for the analog filter is put on a header for future uh, extensions. All functions of the duct can be set with a dip switch. For now it's only one switch that needs to be set to high, the rest is low. More, on the, uh, more of this you can find in the article. Very excellent capacitors for decoupling of the duct and two output connectors for the audio. There's also the option to connect volume control or a potentiometer for volume control or a separate circuit. That's why these three pin headers also are placed on the duct. For future use or for an extension we made a volume control. The duct we use doesn't have one. You can control volume digitally but that would be a compromise in quality. You would lose uh, bits, you don't want that. So we made another PC board with a very excellent IC, and it's maybe well known, it's a PGA2311. And it needs a separate microcontroller to set volume and interface with the Raspberry Pi. So, it's nicely stacked. Even, the, uh, even distance. Also make sure that uh, before soldering these, the connections on the solder side are cut before you solder them, so they don't make contact with the metal casings of uh, the USB and uh, Ethernet uh, connector. The volume control is quite simple. It's a microprocessor controlling the volume control. Here is also an option to use this as an input or output, but more of this uh, in the article. You have six push buttons and a seventh uh, push button to set a preference. Uh, once you have your uh, volume control set to preferred uh, to your liking, then you push this button and that setting is stored into the EEPROM of the processor. There is another option to use the PCB uh, with other software. You can use it standalone, then you have to mount the screw terminal with these capacitors, and uh, if you don't use a uh, Raspberry Pi, uh, you can leave the stack through connector off. You don't need this 3.3 volt for this logic uh, integrated circuit. This PCB also has infrared remote control. The software is now written for RC5, but you can uh, change the software and use another protocol if you want and the LED is to indicate a valid signal is received. It's purposely uh, made uh, through hole, so you, connect it, uh, you can mount it somewhere else, uh, put a pin header or solder wires directly into the PCB. The software on the Raspberry Pi is made such way that we can use a touchscreen, so it's really a standalone media player, sorry, I should say audio player, so we can mount a touchscreen. So this is the complete player, with touchscreen support. All you need now are two power supplies and a network connection if, you're, uh, if you set it already, in our case we did. You can also use USB as a medium. You don't need the network, so you can also mount a USB stick for your uh, audio files. And all we do now is power on. So we uh, powered on the Raspberry Pi. It takes a while to boot. This will take a while. 
and the software on the player is made so uh, Volumio in this case are example as a media player software you can also use other applications so you don't need uh, Volumio per se so if we connect an audio to our output of the volume control we should be able to play some music let's select something from our memory stick something from this list English also and you can add and play and now we should hear something but I forgot to power the duck so if you power the duck also So, now it plays, so have fun and thank you for watching. <laughs>